Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. Uh, thanks for watching my channel. Today I'll talk about uh, GitHub. And I'll show you how to uh, merge changes from base uh, template uh, repository into your target repository. It is useful to have template repository uh, in such situations when you may have um, like infrastructure product which you develop to run uh, containers or uh, run uh, your services on Kubernetes and which implements infrastructure. And then you may have um, another project which is using this infrastructure to implement actual products, some use cases. So th you don't want to uh, build products inside uh, the main uh, infrastructure repository. So in this case, you could uh, define a main repository as a template, and then you could create uh, another repository based on the template. And uh, when you'll create new repository based on template, you will get uh, all the source code from the template and all the commit history. And this means in future when there'll be maybe some bug fixes coming or uh, updates to the base template repository, which implements infrastructure, uh, you can um, uh, merge uh, changes from base template into your uh, um, dependent repository where uh, use cases are implemented or, or, or products. And this is useful because it allows to separate uh, infrastructure and products that run on that infrastructure. And at the same time, it allows to keep in sync uh, product code with the infrastructure code, which is uh, being uh, managed by, uh, by the template repo. So let's um, see how it works in practice. Maybe it will be more clear uh, then. So let's um, switch to my desktop and uh, I outline the steps that I'll be uh, showing you today. So first, uh, I, I have actually, let me uh, go here and under our organization and we have Katana Sparrow. Uh, it's another repository which uh, actually based on Katana Skipper and the idea of Sparrow that uh, it will hold all the products, uh, ML use cases that we are going to implement. And the Sparrow repository, repository is created based on um, Skipper templates. So you can, uh, for example, the, the way I created it, I uh, set. Yeah, I think I selected import repository, and then I, I pointed to the template repository, uh, which uh, if, which is Skipper. So in this case, um, uh, when you're importing template, uh, then you can uh, get all the history from the template uh, and all the commit histories. So this means later you'll be able to merge future changes into your. Um, Dependent, dependent repository. Okay, and Katana Skipper is marked as a template. So it's a public template. Okay, so what I'll show, uh, I'll do some small uh, changes in both uh, Sk uh, Skipper and Sparrow, and I'll show how to merge um, changes from the base template from Skipper into the Sparrow. So I'll update readme file in Skipper on the GitHub, I'll update readme file on Sparrow on my local, then um, I'll uh, commit uh, change from Scar Sparrow to the GitHub. So both changes will be on the GitHub. And then I'll update Sparrow from the template. So um, I'll try to get the change from Skipper. And I'll execute three commands to do that. After that, we'll see if the change will be merged automatically. If there are no conflicts, typically it's merged automatically. And then we commit changes uh, to Sparrow. And after that, we could review on the GitHub if we see both changes. So. Uh, Okay, let's let's go uh, first to Skipper and let's open README file. And <clears throat> we have we can do some change, some minor change here. So, for example, uh, here I have a sentence that says that um, we can use containers to be to run services <clears throat> with different languages. So let's add uh, one language here. Let's say it can be Java. Okay, so, the, so this is our change, and then we commit the change, save it in, in this um, skipper repo, fine. So change is done. Uh, and next we would go to, let's see, we need to find, to get the finder. Okay, this is the finder, and <clears throat> we go to the uh, Sparrow repo, and we open the readme file in Sparrow. I could do the same change <clears throat> directly on the GitHub, but um, let's let's uh, change it from my local and commit it through the GitHub desktop. Okay, so let's 
had to change. And basically, this readme file in Sparrow is based on uh, the file from Skipper. We see below here the content goes from Skipper, so it's uh, the same file. And later, uh, basically, we change the same file, and we'll see how uh, changes changes will be merged merged in that file. So let's um, <clears throat> change some texts in the readme file related to Sparrow. Our primary focus is NLP, um, computer vision, and Sparrow containers located in this folder. Okay, and let's say that um, okay, we can add something. Um, we can uh, remove, for example, um, uh, yeah, let's say. Let's add here. Use it carefully because it's very early. In Sparrow is just in very early stages. We don't have any products running there here. Just a repository created based on infrastructure. Okay, we we'll save this file. Now we can close that. <clears throat> and the next step would be we we'll go and commit this change to the uh, Sparrow GitHub repository. Okay, for that we go to the GitHub desktop, we in Cardano Sparrow, commit the change and push it. Okay, and so now we can review our changes on the GitHub. First, uh, for the skipper, we, we said that we also run Java. Okay, the change is there. And now let's go to the Sparrow and we'll see uh, our sentence, uh, our text, use it carefully. Is here is also included. So the next step, let's uh, review what what's next. We can update Sparrow from the template. For that, we need to do uh, we, need to, we need to fetch uh, <coughs> inside Sparrow uh, repository on lo our local. We need to fetch changes from the template repository. And initially, when I did very first checkout of Sparrow. Uh, to my local, I added, I executed this command git remote at template and I pointed to the actual uh, uh, skipper main repo so that uh, I, uh, uh, this would allow me to synchronize and fetch changes from the template to, the, to into the Sparrow repo. Okay, so now uh, let's fetch changes from the template. And for that, let's uh, go to GitHub desktop. Uh, we are in Sparrow uh, directory, that's correct. And let's open terminal. Now inside the terminal, we run a command to fetch uh, changes from the template. Okay, it's, it's executed, fine. And next we uh, call uh, git checkout master. Okay, we are already on master, and finally, uh, this command will, will do a merge. And if there are no conflicts, then merge will be done automatically. Remember, we were changing a readme file, which is physically the same file in Sparrow and in Skipper, but we were changing text in different blocks in the, of that file, so merge should happen automatically. So let's execute merge. Okay, and we can do the we can do it either from command line or we can navigate to uh, desktop GitHub desktop UI, and it says that all conflicts are resolved, and we can say we continue merge, and uh, it reports to us that merge is completed automatically. That's uh, great. So we can close um, terminal window. We don't need it anymore. And because merge happened automatically, then we are ready to commit to uh, to push the change to the GitHub. Okay, so so the change is is, uh, is being sent to the GitHub, and now we can go back to the browser, uh, reload Sparrow, and we see that our change uh, uh, use it look use it carefully uh, is there. It's fine, and then if you scroll down, then there's a content uh, from uh, Skipper readme file from uh, from template repository, and if you scroll over here, we see that. Java is included. This means this means the the merge was successful. And if we navigate back to uh, Skipper, 
Then this is the original skipper readme file. There is no uh, Sparrow mention here because it's a template. And the change that we introduced Java is, uh, is here uh, as well. So, uh, yeah, the, the main point of um, this explanation is to show you, uh, because it was unclear to me, because uh, when I implemented Skipper, I thought, okay, this is infrastructure, and now let's uh, move on and build products with ML, for example. And for that, I want to have a separate uh, repo, one or maybe like Sparrow, or maybe multiple repos, because maybe I'll build multiple in completely separate products. So I don't want to mess up with the main um, repo uh, which implements infrastructure. So I created another one and I pointed from that um, created newly created repo to the main one, to the template, uh, to be able to fetch uh, changes from there. And now uh, I, I have all the flexibility. I can uh, do bug fixing or add new features on infrastructure, on Skipper, and then I can, can run the product on this infrastructure from Sparrow uh, from Sparrow uh, source code, and anytime I, uh, I want, I can uh, uh, pull and merge ch changes into the uh, Sparrow from Skipper. Uh, so this uh, helps to build the product and manage it on a GitHub uh, separately, uh, infrastructure part and product part separately. So thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the uh, next time. Thanks and bye.